Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with, a, again, not too much to show you in the way of rainfall for the time being, but as we go into the rest of the weekend, could be some more scattered showers out there. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Fog is going to be the main problem overnight, so by the time you get up and going for church or Sunday school or wherever you may be heading to very early tomorrow morning, you may have to allow for a little bit of extra time and a little bit of less speed on the roadways just to be on the safe side because again we're talking about possibly some fairly thick maybe some dense fog advisories out there tomorrow we'll talk about that coming up in just a little while also we'll take a look and see about more of your pictures you have sent in from across the mid-south from our weather collection out there thank you very much to everybody for sending those through we'll also take a look at the forecast into the next several days and suffice it to say that if you do like winter weather, you are going to be sorely disappointed with this forecast coming up because we do not have too much of anything in the way of very chilly weather. Matter of fact, tonight is probably going to be one of the coldest nights of the next several days, and temperatures for this time of the year for February should and can be a lot colder. Not happening this time around. That's for doggone certain. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while, so stay tuned for more on that. Can't stick around for the whole forecast. Here it is in nutshell form, and here it is in nutshell form. Blue bar at the bottom of your screen. Scrolling on past, you can see the forecast available there, or you can get our 7- to 10-day forecast available at wreg.com slash weather. Drop your location, and if you have it, a weather report into the comments section. We'd love to see what the temperature is where you're at, wind speed, wind direction, what you got in the rain gauge. Would love to see more about that to see if we can compare that to our WeatherNet 3 site. So please drop those into the comments section and let us know where you're from. Just a city state will do. You don't have to fill in the whole address but uh, thank you for helping to volunteer that information on there. And if you'd like to know more again about what's going on beyond this forecast here, stick around. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Very much on the mild side in the next few days. Temperatures above normal tomorrow, a little bit below normal today. Very much above normal in into the next couple of days. No, these are not misprints. We are going to be looking for temperatures pushing 80 degrees in parts of the Mid-South as we head into around Tuesday. More chances of showers and thunderstorms, especially Tuesday evening, and those southerly winds, that's going to help to keep the temperatures up over the next several days. So we are going to be seeing the possibility of a lot more thunderstorms and, again, a lot of possibility of maybe some heavier amounts of rainfall doesn't look like severe weather at this time, so that's good news anyway. So thank you very much uh, from that one. Let's see who we got here. Amy Pruitt from Navarre Beach. Hope I'm saying that correct. Thank you very much. Oakfield, Tennessee. Leslie Sayer Rogers, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Good evening to Joseph Boydser. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you very much. Uh, Annette Wilson doesn't like winter weather. Good. Okay. Thank you very much. Good evening from West Memphis, Arkansas, from right across the river. And enough rain already. Nancy Allen, Ripley, Mississippi is floating. Thank you very much. Yes. A little bit on the soggy side out there, but we made up for a lot of the deficit that we saw from late last year. So that's good news anyway. As of right now, again, fog starting to increase a little bit on the hazy side from Germantown. Looking back to the Poplar and Mendenhall Towers area, Poplar Pike and Germantown Road. Again, visit Visibility is okay for now, but it's going to be getting worse as we go into the course of the next few hours, especially into overnight as well. Mid to upper 40s around Germantown. Winds are kicking up a little bit, so we do have a minimal wind chill, but not by much across much of the area. Traffic moving along pretty well at I-40 and around Sycamore View. Flyover traffic up here and moving along in both directions here between I-40, Sycamore View, and Witten Road. So definitely some good news on that for the time being. And as you can see, literally, as you can see here, we don't have too much fog showing up around the flyover area. And that's good news for travelers. So definitely some good news uh, setting up there at this time. Jeff Frog Wheeler, high temperatures are scary. Severe weather temps, yeah, February 5th, 2008. That was the Super Tuesday outbreak, and thank you for joining us from South Haven tonight. We don't see anything in the way of severe weather taking place at this point, but we will be definitely watching that over the next few days. But thank you again for uh, that comment for tonight. South Fulton, Tennessee, Mary Jewell, welcome to the show. Frazier, Chantel, talks a lot. Mula, thank you a lot for joining us for this evening. Norfolk, Virginia, Cornell Elliott Sr., Thank you a lot for joining us uh, here today. Deborah Locke, a whole lot of rain in the forecast. Not as much as yesterday, but we're not really seeing too much of anything else out there for this evening when it comes to colder temperatures for right now. Temi Shomi Ayangbasan, 
Uh, when we give the temperature, you can handle, oh, sorry, I forgot. You know, well, I'm in PR, I'm not in management, so if you want to direct the comments upwards, that'll probably get you a better response than it will dealing with me. I just I don't make the forecast numbers come true. I just tell you what I think they're going to be, but thank you very much for that. Tacoma, Washington, Paula Albertson, welcome to the show. 45 and rain showers up around northwestern United States. Thank you very much for that. West Memphis, Arkansas, again, I-40, I-55, looking back toward the downtown area, I-40, I-55. Traffic just north of Missouri Street at the exit, moving along pretty nicely at this time, so looking pretty good at this location. Not too bad in downtown Memphis either. Again, so far pretty quiet looking over Big River Crossing and the Mississippi River were reflecting things quite nicely at this time, so a pretty quiet evening in downtown Memphis. Fog right now is not doing too bad, but these numbers are a lot worse than what we saw just an hour ago, so the visibility is already dropping across much of the Mid-South area. We've already gotten below one mile in Jackson, Tennessee, also around the Grenada area and close to Clarksdale one to two miles throughout the rest of the Mid-South, so expecting more of this to be forming throughout the course of the evening and right on into tomorrow morning. So this is what you're going to have to deal with into tomorrow. So where's the rain? It's gone. We don't have too much of anything else left over at this time. The metro area, the Loop and I-40, I-55 corridors coming on through here. East Arkansas on this side of the screen. Northern Mississippi here. West Tennessee, the Missouri Boot Hill up this direction. And there goes the rainfall out into parts of northern and western areas of Alabama. Not that much left of it, and again, not going to be seeing too much of anything throughout the rest of the evening. Even got some clearing skies taking place. You can see the gray cloud cover here. That's also moving back to the east, but we also have, again, some clearing skies coming back from the north and west. So there's a chance slight one. We might see some more sunrise tomorrow morning than what we've seen over the last few days. So we might actually get a nice view of the sun coming up in the next several hours as we get into tomorrow morning. So stay tuned to daybreak. If, if we see that, we'll let you know about that. That starts at six o'clock in the morning. How much rain have we gotten? Well, this again, so far mainly about an inch or so. And if you're just tuning in and you've got weather reports from your backyard, that weather station you got for the holidays or Christmas for a gift, definitely want to make certain, again, you give us an idea of a weather report out there. Just about an inch or so, maybe a little bit more than that. Big winner on WeatherNet 3, Carothersville, Missouri in the Boot Hill, Pemiscot County R3 School, just shy of an inch and a quarter. One inch plus, mainly across much of the rest of the Mid-South, Arkansas and Tennessee. Anything that was north of I-40 picked up a lot more rainfall than down to the south of I-40. So we did get a little bit less in that area, but good soaking, no question about that, into and around the area for right now. So not seeing too much to worry about from rainfall into overnight, at least for the right time at this point in time. See, we are in for the night in West Memphis. Bob Wheeler, but headed to church in the morning. Very good. Uh, some fog out there for you this evening, for tomorrow morning. Trey Danzy from Eads, Tennessee. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Riyad Gaucher from Cordova. Welcome to the show as well. Peggy K. Two-point typeface and bifocals just do not mix. Sorry about that. Peggy Cagle Kaufman, thank you very much uh, for joining us for the show this evening. And Betty Shearer from the U of M area, right where my daughter is over there studying to get into the nursing program. Let's run the numbers and show you more about what's going on into the rest of the evening. We've got, again, the clouds here and there. But by the time we hit daybreak, we'll have some clouds here, some clouds not over here. It'll be kind of a mixed bag of partly to mostly cloudy skies, hopefully again some sunshine. We'll see again how well that does into and around the area for tomorrow and chilly back in the upper 30s for the most part. Now most of the day tomorrow not really seeing much of anything in the way of problems but around just after lunchtime we start to see again the potential for a little bit more rainfall coming up from the south and the east. It's not going to be much hit and miss drizzle but it's also going to take care of a lot of the sunshine into tomorrow so we'll see some more rainfall tomorrow. Definitely not flash flooding or gully washers, but could wet down the roadway, so please keep that in mind around dinner time tomorrow night. Then everything moves out of the picture again toward News Channel 3 at 10, and then as we get back into daybreak on Monday, more chances of rain head through right about the time we're about ready to head for the morning commute. If you've got work, again, we've got that holiday coming up. 
for the early hours of Monday. Could be some scattered showers out there, so that could slow down the commute. And also, look at these numbers out here. Lower 60s as we go into Monday morning, so we're not seeing much of anything in the way of frozen precipitation out there anytime soon. And that off and on showers should stick around and get out of the picture by the time we hit Monday evening. Temperatures Monday evening, about the time we're finishing up dinner and getting ready for News Channel 3 at 10, lower 70s for the metro area. And it gets even better than that on the seven-day forecast. We'll take a look at that coming up in just a little bit. Overnight, again, could be the possibility of some very low numbers. I would not be surprised if the National Weather Service issued at least a partial dense fog advisory for the area. Haven't heard anything just yet, but if that happens, we will let you know about that by News Channel 3 at 10 or into tomorrow morning. So thank you very much uh, into and around the area. Richard Price, would you please send the number to call to win the $1,000 we always talk about, but we never post the number to call. Third time I have asked, uh, no, I will not do that because we post that right before it's time to call. We do not post it at any other point in time. Not today, not tomorrow, and only around News Channel 3 Daybreak. That's the only time you're going to get it. So can I post it for you? No, even I don't know what it is. So I cannot do that for you, but thank you for asking. Tune in on Daybreak, and then you will get the number. Until then, nothing I can do about it, but thank you again for asking on that one for right now. Whitehaven, Bobby J. Collins Davis, not, thank you very much uh, for joining us from Whitehaven tonight. Trish Biederman Sheeran from Collierville, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Bozo Wolfolk, welcome to the show from Senatobia, 47 degrees yeah, around Senatobia, thank you very much for that. Tomorrow again, showers mainly in the afternoon and evening. Then clearing back out again. More chances of showers early on Monday, but then partly cloudy after that moves out. Another chance of showers by Monday afternoon and evening. Tuesday into Wednesday, I think this is where we're going to have to watch a little bit more carefully as we get into the next couple of days. Rain showers possible Tuesday afternoon into about late Tuesday evening, and then there's that possibility of maybe some thunderstorms coming our way, and that could linger into around Wednesday into around the early morning hours. So this looks to be right through here a possible overnight event. Does not look like we're going to be seeing anything so far. It does not look like severe weather. So that's good news. But this right here is the next storm system that I would really be paying attention to. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for that. From the near 80 degree mark all the way down to the lower 50s. And this is normal cooling back off again for Thursday back into the upper 60s as we head toward Friday, Saturday, and early on Sunday before the temperatures drop once again. Back in the lower 60s for next Monday and Tuesday as we head out of February and into March. And finally, add to that, for those of you who are asking for some drier weather, you got it. Temperatures, again, not bad, going into the 0% range for rain as we head toward the end of the last weekend of February 2018. Now, also, again, notice that we have little, if anything, for highs or lows approaching the 30s. This is some very mild air that's shaping up across much of the area for the next several days. So all of this looks to be rainy, no snow, no ice coming up. And so far, it also does not look like anything in the way of severe weather for now. We'll be watching that, but the temperatures are going to be way too warm again for anything but rainfall out there. And this is going to be interesting to see if we actually make uh, close to 80 degrees coming up on Tuesday in February. Keep your mind on that for right now. So that's where we could see some interesting weather coming up. James Mayfield from Helena, West Helena. Thank you very much for that. More rain in the valley, Water Valley, Dahlia Rogers. Thank you very much uh, for that one at this point in time. And see, Chuck Abraham, I tend to zone out during the regular news waiting on weather. This is good. Glad you're enjoying it. Thanks for stopping by for this evening. Now, again, for those of you who have been snapping pictures out there, thanks a lot for sending them in. If you've got pictures and you haven't sent them in yet, I can't show them. You see the problem. Okay, so if you could help me out on that, that would be really great because right now this is a good way to uh, get your pictures out there. And we had a lot of great ones over the last few days. Louis Haskett, frequent contributor from mainly northeast Arkansas, a very nice uh, sunrise from earlier this week, I believe about Tuesday or so, if I'm not mistaken, from James R. Gulledge. Yes, Mr. Gulledge sent in another one today, but I really like this one better because there's a lot of sunshine and blue skies out there, but another frequent contributor from up around the Humboldt, Tennessee area. And also thanking Memphis underscore Tom from Pauley's Island, South Carolina. Maybe not exactly the Mid-South Territory, but 
We're not picky. If you've got a good sunset picture, we'll take it. And this is sunset from just a couple of days ago, so a very nice view of day's end from that area. Thank you, Memphis underscore Tom, for that one. And thanks for all the pictures as well of you popping over the pond heading to the United Kingdom. Some really neat views of traveling around there. So thank you very much uh, for that one. Jennifer Strausser, welcome from Roseville, Tennessee. Almost said Rossville. Thank you very much uh, for checking in for right now. And thanks to everybody else who's been checking in so so far. Got pictures? Tweet them to me. Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. Aonic no underscore necessary. WREG3 on Instagram or my main Facebook page, Austinonic WREG. Or if you can't get any of those taken care of, send them to this email address, austin.onic at WREG.com. Love to have you along for the ride and your pictures especially. Now, this has been updated. This is also available, again, at WREG.com slash weather at this website. National Weather Service teaches volunteer storm spotter training. If you would like to be a volunteer spotter, not a chaser, that's a entirely different thing. So, again, this is the best way to get that going. If you want to be a chaser, that's up to you. But you've got to be trained in order to do it. Period. End of sentence. Not going to go any more farther than that because, again, chasers that you just think you can get in the car and drive someplace, not a good idea, never a good idea. Knowing what is out there is one of the best things you can do, and this is a great place to start. National Weather Service teaches these at various times throughout the year. This is the main storm season, so we've got about a baker's dozen of these meetings coming up. New one, a couple of change arounds here for the schedule. The next most recent one will be coming up Thursday or Tuesday, February 22nd, Lexington, Tennessee. Monday the 26th in and around the area of Helena, West Helena, Arkansas. Tuesday the 27th in and around the area of Camden Central High School. I've got to double check those dates on that one with the National Weather Service, but keep it tuned here. We'll keep you updated on that. And of course, we'll have it on WREG.com slash weather. If you're away from the computer and can't check the forecast and you're out and about in the Mid-South, dial us up on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And join me with Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live starting 8 a.m. on Monday, apparently on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, going to be an interesting show with some interesting guests coming up, and apparently there's going to be some possible uh, controversy and or some great weather uh, sports chat going on. So Tuesday and throughout the rest of the week, catch my forecast, but Tuesday could be an interesting show, AM 730, Talk Back Live, or available again at TalkBackLiveNetwork.org to find out more details there. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Time is about 823 on Saturday night. Join me in just about 10 minutes. I'll be live on my Facebook page, and of course we'll take a look at Saturday night, weather where the troops are, weather around the world. If you have friends, loved ones serving in United States military overseas, we'll take a look at some of those overseas locations and let you know a little bit more about what the weather's like out there. It's our way of connecting the home front to the folks that are out on the front lines and helping to keep everybody out there uh, safe and doing their job by wearing the uniform. And again, thank you very much, your family members. If you could pass that on for me for doing uh, something like that, do appreciate that. Joyce Johnson Berry, Storm spotter class, best you can ever take, especially uh, if your mom was killed in 2001. I'm very sorry to hear that, but yes, uh, storm spotter classes, one of the best ways you can stay informed and help your neighbors in the Mid-South. Very important to remember that. The information you provide could save other people down the line, and that's one of the best ways of showing community spirits and helping everybody in the Mid-South to stay safe. The more people that under understand what's going on with severe weather, the better we are all protected. That's as simple as it gets. Show up, take the course, no fee necessary. Great opportunity to learn a little bit more about that. Uh, let's see, Crenshaw, Mississippi, Joyce Johnson, very 48.4 degrees. Very specific, thank you very much. No wind, no rain, just wet. Thank you. And Batesville, Rhonda Best Sanders, thank you very much. Harold Thomas, also from Blytheville tonight, thank you uh, for joining us. Again, join me about 8.33 for another update on my Facebook page. I'll have a forecast update on News Channel 3 at 10. And, of course, Kristen Holloway will have the news. Mike Sadie will have sports. And we'll be back on Daybreak as well coming up at 6 a.m. on Sunday. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend.